Yes, a great competition tomorrow. Watch and win, thanks to Holden. And Holden looking sharp here with Craig Lowndes, the fast man, the leader of the pack for the 211.55. Can Mark Scaife go one better in the Winfield Commodore? They've been fast here all week. They haven't been down in the low 11, so he's got a bit of work to do. But then again, Lowndes has broken new ground this morning. Mark Scaife underway in the number one machine. He's a fellow with a lot of experience around here and a very dedicated approach. He thinks about every, every lap he does, every lap he's got behind him. And uh, if there's any way that this car can do the job today, the Fred Gibson team have thrown everything at it to make it the fastest possible for him. It's been a great fight back in form for this team. You think of the terrible start they had to the year with Scaife's horrific crash in the wet at Eastern Creek. They have really lost their way for a while there. He tumbled from one end of the grid to the other throughout the Touring Car Championship. But come the endurance races, they really have got back to that dominant form they showed uh, in 1994. And they really are hungry for a win. A little uh, ride up on the ripple there out of uh, Repco, but nothing to worry about as long as the car doesn't get upset. And... Uh, Unset, I should say. They're always upset with drivers like this behind them. This is a team that's been working very, very hard on their fuel consumption from the Chevy V8s. Fred Gibson absolutely committed to a four-stop strategy if he can do it tomorrow. And he considers that'll be critical in winning the race. We shall see. Boy, it's going to be tight at the top. We saw how many cars were on the same lap last year, and these fellows know that one pit stop will save uh, upwards of 30 seconds at that stop. And the downtime in the pit lane certainly a good strategy little lock up break. there yeah gets a wheel up in the air through the dipper the lock brake didn't seem to uh, unsettle the car too much just shaves the yeah. concrete wall as he comes down toward forest elbow That's tremendous the... commitment from scope very close there nice fast tidy exit from the elbow check the split for you he's slower than lounge out of there 127 66 so quite a few tents down on lounge We've still got the finesse through the chicane. Well, he's quick down through here. Doesn't button it off. Pulls over, right over, off the road. He's still accelerating the brakes. Lights come on. He travels a little further into the chase than most. Look at that. Just stuck the outside wheel yep. over the white line as he turned in. He's using every millimetre of tarmac he can get his tyres on. Puts it up on the ripple strip on the way out. Down into the left-hander. This will be it. Oh, locks it up on the inside, comes out. As straight as it came across the line, not much in it, but uh, 211.95. 211.95, they're all getting down into the 11s. So they would make him second fastest yes. at this stage behind Craig Lowndes, Wayne Gardner third, Alan Jones fourth, Stephen Johnson in fifth, and Longhurst currently in sixth position. Uh, he'll be happy with that. That was an excellent run for Mark Scaife. He'll drive tomorrow 